Thank you, everybody. I'm sorry it's a bit chilly out today, isn't it? Not much of a summer we're having. This is July, and I don't know. Feel it feels like October. I'm very happy to be here with your local representative, Adriana, Minister Adriana Legrand. She's our <laughs> yeah. H Adriana is our Minister of Education and MLA for Red Deer North, and we also have our wonderful, hardworking uh, representative from Red Deer South, Mr. Jason Stefan, right there with the black mask. So I just wanted to drop by to uh, wish you well. I know that uh, these have been strange times in the past uh, three or four months with this uh, virus going around, but I want to thank the centre here for taking such good care of the residents and we're so glad that that uh, this com community, this residence has not been affected and that's a great credit to the staff and, and the administration. How about we give them a hand for all of their hard work. <laughs> we Albertans should be proud of how we've done. First of all, let me say to all of you, we're proud of you as our seniors. Thank you for all you've done to build our province. Thank you for handing on to the next generation. One of the most, one of the freest, most prosperous places in the world. And uh, that, you know, unfortunately we're facing a lot of challenges right now. The biggest public health crisis since 1918, the Spanish flu. Some of your parents might've told you about how bad that was a hundred years ago. We've also had the worst decline in the world's economy since the Great Depression, uh, 90 years ago. And we've had the worst decline in our energy prices hurting us here in Alberta. So these are tough times, but a lot of you have lived through tough times and demonstrated the kind of resilience, the tough stuff that Albertans are made of. Yay! Yes, that's right. You know, there's a great country singer. He's a fifth generation Alberta ranch boy from around uh, Bonneville named Brett Kissel, and he has a song, he says that tough times don't last, but tough people do. And we're gonna get through it, yes ma'am. And oh, so, anyway, I wanted to say we should be proud of how we've got through this pandemic. We've had, in a relative way, lower infections and hospitalizations than pretty near anywhere in the Western world, and we've done it while well, keeping most of our economy functioning, but now we really need to get it back for the young people so they have a future. And that's what we're working on. Because we need a strong economy to support our health care, support our seniors, support those uh, the edu education, and support all of our social services. Um, so I just wanted to drop by to thank you all for being uh, uh, pioneers in your own way, for being builders, and for um, just to say we, we, we love our seniors in Alberta, we respect you, we want, we want to make sure you all continue to enjoy uh, an active and healthy life here in this centre. Um, by the way, some of you may be of a vintage that you may know or remember my grandpa. His name was Mark Kenny, the big band leader, Mark Kenny and his Western Gentleman. Does anybody remember that music back in the day? For, he was on the CBC for about 30 years, so... Uh, I know a lot of seniors who, who met their, their sweethearts dancing to his music back in the day. So I want to say thank you again for welcoming us. Adrian, would you like to say a few words? Uh, sure, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much, Premier, for coming. And I, again, I just want to echo the fact that... Oh, sorry. So hard to use these things with the masks and everything. I don't know. I, I, you're probably like me. It's not natural. But... Uh, I, I really appreciate the fact that you're all uh, doing your part to, to keep COVID down. It, it's difficult, it's not easy. I know it's hard not to see your loved ones. I know how hard it is. Um, and, and we just want you to know that we take this very, very seriously. We take your health very, very seriously. We know that uh, the good people here are looking after you, doing their best. And we really appreciate how we're coming together as a community as a people, as mankind, to fight this pandemic. And so thank you so much. I'm sorry that you had to suffer through some of this, this uh, the, the different restrictions with the masks and the, and the isolation. But you know what? At the end of the day, we're, we're beating the curve, and that's so, so very important. 
just uh, I look forward to an opportunity in the future to come and visit one on one and uh, hear your concerns, hear what you'd like us to do better. Because I'm sure some of you do. Any of you have ideas on how we can do things better? <laughs> no, no oh, yeah. ideas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I look forward to coming back, having an opportunity to sit and have a chat with you, have a coffee, and hear what uh, how we can make things better for you. So thank you so much for for understanding that we are in really tough times, but we're going to get through it. We're going to get through it stronger than ever, and uh, just. I, I hope you have the best of days as, as we move forward in this. So thank you and God bless and take care of your folks. Uh, just looking up at each and every one of you, I, um, I feel a lot of love. We uh, love and care about you. In these challenging times, we appreciate the example that uh, you have set for uh, ch your children and for all of Burdens. And uh, the inheritance that we have benefited from, the legacy of the hard work, the sacrifices you've made, the love and service you've provided into our, in our communities. And uh, we appreciate the strength that you've demonstrated that we can all draw on to be better. Anyways, it's just great seeing you today and have a great day. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We're glad you could make it out onto the balcony. What's that time? You good? You good? Um, George, do you have something to present to the Actually, Premier Barbara? Actually, I have a couple of books. Okay. Or maybe I don't know um, just so that we don't, uh, good morning everybody. Um, I have a couple of new yearbooks for our premier for this uh, coffee table okay. with the office. And uh, uh, we'd just like to thank everybody for showing up and coming up to the balcony to greet us and, and our premier and uh, honorable MLAs. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so thank you very much, uh, everybody, and uh, have a fantastic weekend, have a fantastic day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day.